Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Hey listen, if you've got high expectations but a low budget and a kind of small tow vehicle, but you want to sleep your family in comfort, let's talk about Jayco's J-Flight 154BH. It's the smallest, shortest, lightest weight trailer in all of the J-Flight family. So let's get started. Lots to show you here. We're in a fiberglass exterior. Now you can get this unit in either fiberglass or aluminum. Obviously we've opted for fiberglass on this. I like it, it's a nice smooth exterior. Doesn't streak quite as much, easy to keep clean. Now, again, everything about this is smaller. It's lightweight and compact. That includes the storage area. There's not a ton of storage here. But again, if you have something that you need to pull with say a Buick Enclave or a Chevy Colorado, a large SUV or a small pickup truck, this might be the answer. It's 2,800 pounds unloaded, 18 feet long. So not a big trailer, but it has bunks in it. So you can sleep the family. We've got a sim single propane bottle up here. And what's nice about this, this is the same bottle that you have on your gas grill at home. This thing runs out unscrew it, take it to the quick sack, swap it out even on a Sunday morning and you're back in business. Uh, your battery tray behind here, you can put two batteries. It'll come standard with one. All the units here get fully prepped before you take delivery. So a new battery be installed and propane filled. We have a manual uh, tongue jack up here. So easy to crank, it's geared so that it's easy to turn. This is how you're gonna level it front to back. So once you unhook the trailer, this is how you're leveling it front to back. Over here on the utility side, I call it, we have our potable water fill. This is a gravity fill. So if you're gonna go off grid, camp someplace where you don't have water supply, you can fill this up when you enter the park or get close to where you're going and draw from your freshwater tank. Uh, right here. It's a gravity fill. And then below, this is your main water connection, which is pressurized. So if you have water at your campground, and in most cases you will, hook it up here with a water pressure regulator, I recommend, and you'll have water on the inside of the unit. Uh, low point drain is labeled. This is important when it comes time to winterize the unit or sanitize your fresh water tank. Just open that up and uh, you can remove that sticker later, but it's nicely labeled while you get to know the coach. This is a 30 amp detachable power cord, so this is a 30 amp coach with a single AC unit. Have our little furnace vent here. If you have cable TV hookups at your campground, uh, you'll hook up here, then you'll have cable TV on the inside. Either way, you have a digital antenna up on top so you can get over the air channels in any case. Again, labeled back here, we have our, our low point drain for the back and gray and black holding tank valves. Gray is gray, black is of course colored black, gray is your sink water, shower water, black is your toilet water. They both come together here. You'll attach your sewer hose here and the other end goes into the sewer outlet at your campground and uh, you're good to go on draining your tanks. There is a little storage area in here. You can pop this out, store your stinky slinky in there, or fishing poles, things like that. Nice handy storage compartment. This, uh, uh, are, these are your stabilizing jacks back here. So once you get this uh, trailer set up at the campground and leveled, the last thing you're gonna do is drop these stabilizing jacks down. They're manual. Put a three quarter inch driver on there and zip it down. Or there's a crank up in front too, you can do it by hand. Now we have a full size spare. And with Jayco products, you'll always get a full size spare that's a Goodyear endurance tire with a six year warranty. All the tires on all Jayco's are Goodyear tires with a six year warranty made in America. While we're talking about warranties, let me talk about the warranty for Jayco products in general. It's the two plus three. Don't get that confused with 23 years. Some folks say that's a great warranty, 23 years, two plus three, two years, which is basically a bumper to bumper warranty that's covering all the components of this. Think of it as two full camping seasons. That's twice the warranty of most manufacturers, three years on structural. So when you take that warranty, combine it with your tire warranty, 
And finally, the roofing membrane, which is warranted for 20 years, it's a pretty stout warranty. So uh, you can feel good that you're protected for two full camping seasons. Now we have a nice power awning with an LED light strip under it. We have two exterior speakers mounted on the wall here. That's neat because you can push music from your phone, stream your phone music through the Bluetooth connectivity on your radio and have music out here on the patio side. We have power out here, so once you have power at the campground, you have power on the patio. So we can put a little table out here, um, have a TV or a coffee pot or a margarita or whatever you want out here on the patio side. This is your water heater. It's a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. This tells me it's been winterized because it came from the factory. This is the drain plug. This can run on gas and or electric. So when you're at the campground and you have electrical power, you want to run it on electric and not use your propane. When you're traveling and you don't have electric, run it on propane. Now if you want it to recover quickly and you want hot water quick, you can turn both of them on at the same time. Electric and gas won't hurt anything. And we have simple little trouble-free folding steps in here. It just tuck, tucks away for travel and pull it out um, when you're ready to deploy it. All right, now let's go inside and have a look on the inside of this 154BH. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 154BH. BH stands for bunkhouse, so I have double bunks back here. Each one of these bunks has a 300 pound weight capacity. Um, so adults can sleep up here and not have a fear of falling through. Jayco is superior in that respect since a lot of manufacturers will limit their weight capacities to a couple hundred pounds, maybe even less. So 300 pounds up, 300 pounds down. I got power inside the bunks here so you can charge your cell phones and things like that. Now there's a window in each bunk too, so you can slide the windows open and get some cross air ventilation. The little window up top and a little window on the bottom. So nice comfortable bunk spaces so the family can sleep in comfort. Now I've got a dinette up front here which will convert into a bed. So bed by night, dinette where you can feed the family during the day. So mom and dad can sleep here. I got room for at least two kids in the back. Maybe more if they're small kids, right? So this table is simply gonna collapse and fit on these cleats, spread these cushions out, and I have a decent sized bed up here for mom and dad. Now, even though we're in a quite compact little unit, 18 feet long, I got a decent amount of storage. You learn how to fold things well when you're camping in a small trailer, or a small RV of any kind. Not a lot of hanging uh, closed space in any RV, much less a small trailer. In fact, there's none in here. You're going to be folding clothes and blankets and all those kinds of things uh, in the spaces available. Um, so I've got a little storage up there. I've got a little storage behind here. A modest sized little kitchen. Let's just call it small. We're in a compact unit. So I have a little uh, refrigerator here with a freezer compartment above. So we're talking about a, a weekend getaway kind of thing here. So we're not sleeping on the ground in a tent. We're upgraded, we're up off the ground, and we're in a hard-sided trailer. We have all the conveniences of home, if you will, refrigerator, galley, bathroom, shower inside. I have power up here behind my counter. And over here are my controls where I can check tank levels and turn on my water pump and my water heater on gas or electric. I really like these uh, countertops, okay? This is, uh, it looks like solid surface, but it's a molded poly material, which allows Jayco to do an undermount residential style sink. It's a lightweight plastic bowl. It's not stainless steel. Everything is done here with weight and cost in mind. This is a price point camper uh, designed to be lightweight, to be pulled with lots of different vehicles. I have storage under there. I'm thinking that's probably where the trash can goes. Now over here, I have a vented range hood that's lighted and vented. So this is vented to the outside, a two burner cooktop. I can remove this grate for easy cleaning and drop this down if I need a little more prep space or just to cover it up. So 
creates a nice little backsplash backlit controls this is your furnace so this is where the heat's going to be coming from in the winter time knock the chill off this and man when the furnace comes on it gets warm in here in a hurry so nice little area and then up on top i have a little microwave for warming up those uh, leftovers and popcorn on movie night storage right to the left here of the range so storage on the bottom and shelved storage up on top it might be doubling with food and encases some some clothes have a little bit of storage under this bottom bunk so if i lift up this i've got a storage compartment under here for stuff that you don't need to access quite as much maybe the extra pair of shoes extra blankets now right behind me is the bathroom we have a plastic foot flush commode again plenty of room in here to do what you need to do jaco thinks of everything thank you jaco i have a, sh a tub shower combo so if you got little kiddos and you need that little tub for them to have a bath you've got that it's also of course a shower i am six feet tall I have room in here, not a ton of room, but enough room to take a shower. A little skylight here gives me a little more headroom, even for a person a little bit taller than myself, to take a shower and I don't have to trek my way through to the campground facilities. I can do it all right here in this unit. So it's compact, there's a lot going on with this little unit, even though it's in a small package. Speaking of, we have a little entertainment uh, assembly here if you will more shelf storage here this is the radio i was referring to outside that is bluetooth capable and you can push music to the speakers above inside or outside from your phone you have tv connections up here so if you want to put a tv this is the obvious place your coax cable and uh, your power right behind it our awning switch right here it's fully automatic in and out and our light switches right here. Now, if you want to wire this for solar, I should say if you want to add solar, it's already wired for solar. Right here's where your charge controller would go. So it's prepped for solar. If you wanted to add solar later or have us add solar, you can do that. And I can talk to you about that uh, when you call in. We have a screen door here. So on those warm days or cool nights and you want to let some ventilation in, you can open that up. Uh, I always call this the margarita pass-through door, right? All right. So nice to have a screen door. A lot of features on this small little unit. Uh, again, my name is Mike from Vaud RV. This is a 154BH. It is the smallest, shortest, lightest weight trailer in all of the J-Flight family. If you're not sure if your car, SUV, or small pickup truck can pull this, give us a call we'll look it up in our guides and confirm it you'll need a tow package in any case you'll need a hitch receiver and a brake controller and we'll look up those things for you to confirm whether or not you can safely tow it i uh, always like to say that here at vaud rv i think that shopping for an rv should be just as fun as using them come on out here have a look at what we have we're happy to help you give you information so you can make an informed decision on what rv is best for you my name is Mike. I appreciate you joining me. If you have a chance and feel like it, click like and subscribe below. We work really hard to bring these videos to you. That way you'll be the first to know when we post another video kind of like this one. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vaud RV.